My name is Paul Anderson. I'm the chairman of the board of the Canadian Internet Registration Authority. The internet has evolved, no question, over the last decade. Who's using the internet, how they're using the internet. There's just been a huge growth on, on how individuals are using the internet as a communication tool. You just look at the growth in the last few years and how it's, you know, the internet went from a simple email, you know, it was mostly known as email and a bit of a informational tool to where it's now becoming the de facto standard for all kinds of communication, watching television, uh, communicating with friends, social media. So we've had to adopt the, uh, our governance model to try and, try and adapt to that as well. As I said, the governance model is constantly evolving. There's no utopia, there's no single solution that's going to work and it's, and it's not necessarily the, the solution that's working for us now may not work. Uh, down the road. We've learned learned a lot from other organizations, but it is something that's been constantly evolving. It's had to evolve with the organization over time as it's changed, as it's grown. Uh, and we're still looking at uh, ways to improve, uh, from a governance standpoint, how we manage the, uh, the .ca domain. So we're right now reevaluating our entire stakeholder engagement. We're looking at uh, ways of different ways of engaging, and there's no one answer on that too. How we engage stakeholders on various issues is going to vary depending on the issue. There's some issues that only a certain number of people, for instance, on a who is it's there's you know privacy and law enforcement and registrants are obviously concerned. On technical issues, you're going to get an entire different group that is. So, you know, depending on the size of the issue, the type of issue, we're, we have to continue to evolve the way we engage stakeholders. We've always been active, but we're always looking for ways to improve. It's, I think it's always going to be a common criticism is that you're not engaging enough and, and it is something that we're taking, we take very seriously. Uh, we, you know, the first area that we've, uh, stakeholder that we've obviously spent a lot of time working with is the, the registrants themselves and the, uh, the direct participants of CIRA, but there is more stakeholders than just those. There's the people who use the domain name, every, domain names every day who use the internet. There's always ways that uh, stakeholders or registrants or anyone can always give feedback to CIRA. You know, we run formal processes. Right now we're running a consultation uh, examining our who is policy so that, you know, uh, people can go to our website or come to the uh, AGM and express uh, concerns on that specific issue. CIRA has always been involved um, in the, in the do name, domain name industry on a lot of the international organizations such as ICANN, which is the uh, global coordination body for that, and a lot of other organizations, for security organizations and we're continually evolving in that area. We think it's very important to be there, you know, being at stuff like ICANN or, or technical standards. The board has always encouraged staff to, our staff to be involved in the community from that standpoint. We have our CEO and a lot of the senior staff are involved in ICANN. Our, the, our CEO is the vice chair of the CCNSO, which is a organization that represents CCTLDs at ICANN. We've had staff members involved in organizations such as NANOG or ARIN, which are technical coordination uh, bodies similar to us. And many of the senior staff are also involved in organizations such as CENTER, which is a European organization, or have been involved in security task force dealing with uh, the increase of security threats such as Configure or phishing or a lot of the other uh, issues that have been you know, growing to prominence and, and unf unfortunately rising in number in, in recent years. So, well, The board is very proud of the staff and, and the organization that you know, the staff has built. Uh, there's been a lot of achievement from a technical standpoint. We've done a lot of work in the area of our DNS uh, systems so that we're ready to handle the growth for the next decade uh, from a, both a capacity and a stability uh, issue. And uh, we're going to be examining, you know, we're finishing up our who is, and there's going to be a lot of other uh, policies that we're going to be re-examining, and we're looking forward to a much broader stakeholder engagement over the next few years.